My mission to understand Moe's golf swing was based on a passion to bridge the gap between Moe's feelings and the mechanical and scientific reality. Using the latest in 3D motion capture technology, I've explored and measured the geometry of Moe's single plane swing. I was able to quantify the differences between Moe's swing and the conventional golf swing. We can now calculate Moe's simplicity and put scientific data to Moe's feeling of greatness. And I must tell you, during the analysis process, even I was amazed at what we discovered. We now know through science why Moe's swing is easier, and this is great news. It shows that through his practice and dedication, Moe did all of the research. All you have to do is apply science to your own swing, and you can feel what he felt. Now let's take a look at Moe's discoveries and the science behind them. Moe described his swing effectively when he said, I swing like a pendulum, I swing under myself, and I have less moving parts. Like a pendulum, the fixed point at the top doesn't move. Moe's head didn't move as the trail shoulder moves up into the backswing and down into the downswing, making it easier and more consistent to swing from address to impact. One of the keys to simplicity in Moe Norman's golf swing was the position of the spine from address to impact, where the model has a 20 degree spine tilt to start with. What this did, it created the feeling that Mo called like a pendulum. When you look at the model and you see the shoulder position, because the spine is tilted, it's putting the shoulder back and towards the plane. Now, when he goes to the top of the backswing, the shoulder moves up, and then when he moves down, it comes straight back down into impact, making an up and down motion of the shoulder. Notice in the backswing again how the head is staying in position as the model goes back and the shoulder comes down in an up and down motion just like a pendulum. Now he also felt like he swung underneath his body. He said, I swing underneath myself. Well, because of the pre-turn of the shoulder, because of the spine tilt, this shoulder here feels underneath as opposed to being around. So once again, in the backswing moving up and then moving down, felt very much like an up and down motion as opposed to an around motion. So you had four things going on with Mo's swing. He felt like it was a pendulum moving up and down. The swing had less moving parts because you had less movement of the spine and the shoulders. And you have the swing going inside to inside as well as he feeling, I swing underneath my body. And that's what you're going to feel with a single plane swing. The single plane golfer starting on the impact plane has the ideal distance from the ball, allowing the club to return to the same plane and eliminating the need for a lifting of the hands into impact. The results are that the spine stays in its original tilt and posture. The shoulders move underneath and the hands move less through impact, allowing the club to move naturally down the extension of the arm. This motion is similar to skipping a rock, where the arm extends as the rock is released from the hand. Because of the position of the spine, the lower body movement of the pelvis, throughout the single plane swing, it eliminated what I call shaft lift in Moe's golf swing. Now what you can see is Moe felt extension both in the backswing and in the through swing. This created the proper movement of the shaft both back and through, all the way through release in the finish. Now from a down the line view, what this did was started the shaft on the exact same plane at the very address position where you can see the height of the shaft, then we took it into the backswing and then return the club all the way down to impact, the club returned to the same height. Returning to the same exact plane at impact, eliminating any motion of the shaft going from a low position to a high position, completely eliminating shaft lift. This is because of the proper motion of the lower body, the proper tilt of the spine, and the proper single plane address position that creates the ability to go from backswing to downswing without shaft lift. Now, if you look at that from another perspective, what you see is that Mo started the club on the single plane here at address. When he took it back and then returned back down into impact, he felt like he could keep the club face square for up to 22 inches past the ball. Now that's a lot longer than most golfers. That's what he felt that the club could stay square and down the line. From this position, he felt like when he released the club, he could actually pull the flag so the arms would come up. He actually felt like the club was moving straight down the line, staying square longer down the line, and then his hands felt like he was actually pulling the flag to the target. This motion, the proper motion of the spine, the proper motion of the lower body, make, simplifies the ability to go from backswing all the way down into impact, making the single plane swing easier to repeat and easier to get to impact. Science has shown that Mo Norman's golf swing feelings were actually scientific intuition. With less spine and shoulder movement, less arm rotation, and less stress, 
the data of the single plane swing clearly shows an easier, more repeatable way to swing. Let's review the science behind Moe's feelings. First, you must tilt the spine correctly at address with the trail hand in a non-rotational position. This address position reduces spine and head movement and rotation of the trail shoulder and eliminates the rotation of the trail hand. Next, you must move the lower body correctly with the proper downward pelvis movement into the lead knee. The ideal movement of the lower body allows for the ideal stabilization of the lower body, reducing stress from the spine. It also promotes the proper hips, torso, arms, hand sequencing of the swing. Finally, by starting on the impact plane, the single plane swing reduces the lifting of the pelvis and shaft, making the swing easier on the body and more consistent by naturally keeping the club moving as an extension of the arm. This natural movement, like skipping a rock, simplifies the movement of the arms past the body, finishing the single plane swing motion and completing Moe's feeling of greatness. I hope you enjoyed this scientific look at the typical conventional swing compared to the simple single plane swing of Moe Norman. The bottom line, Moe and in his intuitive wisdom discovered the scientifically perfect golf swing. Now that you understand what Moe did, you can achieve your own feeling of greatness. <laughs>